that is not super milk. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So we are actually in my guest bedroom today. I am reorganizing my office that you normally see me in. So excited to share with you my thoughts, my first impressions on the shower gels. So I actually got four of the shower gels and I'm so excited to share with you my first impressions on them. Now, if you are not new to my channel, then you know that I typically reserve my opinions until an empties video. But what I did, there's a few testing, I guess, criteria that I went through. So I'm just gonna give you my first impressions, but of course, subscribe to the channel, stick with me, and then you can see my full thoughts in an empties video. So we're just gonna hop right into it. The very first one I wanna talk about is the one that people were the most excited about, and that is Super Milk. So number one, I just have to talk about this beautiful packaging. So we've got the Lush logo here, and it's the Lush X community, or in this beautiful gold badge, gold badge rather. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. So. It definitely does, number one, smell like super milk, the super milk that we all know and love. So it does smell like that. I think I got some on my lip. <laughs> so I'm just gonna read my notes here that I have to make sure that I cover all the points that I wanna share with you. So this one lathered beautifully, and I did find for the most part that they all lathered beautifully, the ones that I have, but uh, I noticed that you did not need a lot when it came to this one, so it spread very nicely. The lemon definitely comes through pretty strong in here, which is interesting, actually. So I have noticed that depending on, it could be the same scent, but depending on the formula or what the product or what the scent family is formulated with, whether it be a lotion, shower gel, soap, it can be a little different. Um, but I did notice the lemon come through very, very strong in here. And it's more so a creamy lemon is what I get. Now, I was expecting this to be a lot stronger, but it was a very nice, subtle, creamy lemon. I will say it's perfect for summer. Now, I did notice here's one of the things that I tested out. After I got out of the shower, I wanted to see if it lasted on my skin. I expected that this one would, but it did not last on my skin. And also, there are some shower gels that after you use them, the scent kind of lingers and lasts in the bathroom, and this one did not. And I was really expecting this one to last in the bathroom, but it did not. If you know the Passion Shower Gel for the Valentine's Collection, that one does. I do feel like Fresh As does as well. But unfortunately, this one did not. It did leave my skin super soft, which I loved, and I really enjoyed the creamy texture of this shower gel. So that was my thoughts. I do like the Super Milk shower gel. So that was nice. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, so next I wanna talk about Sultana. So I did feel like with this one, I had to use a little bit more to really kind of get that lather that I was looking for. Um, but I did find that this one definitely was true to scent with the Sultana of Soap, soap that we have. It says here that it has ap apricot, uh, currant, and cranberry infusions. When the Lush Reveals video came out and they were talking about that in this, I just didn't know that Sultano soap, now you do see on the soap, you do see the little cranberries and, and dried fruit on there. Um, I guess I just didn't know that it had that in there, but, and I really don't get that and I never did even in the soap, but this is very true to scent with the soap, which was perfect. Like I said, I did have to get a little bit more out. Now, I will say the biggest thing about this that I noticed is that the scent lasted on my skin, just like the soap does, because the soap does an incredible job of doing that. It lasts on my skin and it was definitely creamy on my skin. And I did also find that the bathroom did smell like this when I left, which I love when our shower gels have that effect and you can just smell the scent of it. But I love the scent of this. I really wish that Sultana or that Lush would come out with a lotion of this because it left my skin feeling very clean. I loved the scent that it left behind, um, but I still didn't felt like I needed to go back in with lotion and I did not want to cover up the scent of this, but I did, I used Pansy for the body lotion. Um, but I wish they would come out with a lotion of that because I think that it would be a great hit. So 
Love, uh, Love Sultana, I have to say out of all the ones that I tried, that one was actually my favorite. Okay, next up, my beloved American Cream. I love American Cream. I feel like I get everything in this scent, honestly, because it is just, it's such a classic. I've used the conditioner for about 20 years or so, and I actually use it as a leave-in conditioner is how I use the American Cream Conditioner. So I definitely have a love for this one. Um, I will say the positive is, that's right, that a little bit does go a long way, uh, but unfortunately, yeah, the scent was just barely there for me. I do know American Cream is a very light scent anyway. It's not super heavy, but you know, honestly, I just expected more out of this in a shower gel. But again, you know, I do know sometimes that, you know, again, depending on the form that the scent is in, uh, the medium rather, it will perform differently. It's true to smell like the American Cream Conditioner. I just wish that it were stronger. Now, I do have the lotion, I do have the perfume, and I would have loved this to be a little bit stronger for as when I got out of the shower, I put the lotion on and then kind of layer it, the lotion and the perfume. But this left, as soon as I washed this off, it was gone. Like that's how light it is. So it's mainly just for a great in-shower experience, but it doesn't even last long. So unfortunately, I probably just wouldn't buy this again for that reason. But again, American Cream is a lighter scent. And then again, maybe they just couldn't get it fully in this medium. So, and it just performed way too light. But anyway, I love American Cream. And honestly, no matter what they come out with it, like I will get it. So I still have to get the American Cream bath bomb. But anyways, I, I love that. Okay, let the good times roll. Number one, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. It, uh, this one surprised me and I'll get into that in a second, but absolutely love the packaging, this beautiful gold color. I mean, you're just drawn to it. And it, it says on here, it's an iconic scent and it really is. I remember when the face clean, cleanser came out and that was a big hit. I think it was like during Christmas time when it came out, but it was many, many, many years ago. But a little bit definitely went a long way with this one. I can just kind of tell at the top how much I used. A little bit uh, a little bit went a long way, and I think that's also partly due to the scent. Now, here's the interesting thing about this when I use it is that as soon as you smell it, it does smell like let the good times roll. But when you are using this in the shower, you guys, it turns into the most creamy, like buttery, buttery, scent. I don't even know how to describe it. What did I put down here? I know I said buttery and it is creamy, but that was the note that I got the most out of as a, the most out of this product as I was using it and washing it off. It was just this warm buttery scent that I absolutely loved. I was so confused. I picked up my face cleanser to smell it of let the good times roll. Cause I was like, wait a minute. And the face cleanser just smells very just like a caramel popcorn toffee-ish and I love how this transformed. So I really, really, really like this product. I like that I get this different kind of uh, perspective or dif different kind of aspect of it in the shower and it was just absolutely gorgeous. Now I will say I was expecting this to linger on my skin and I was also expecting it to fill up the bathroom because of how strong it is and unfortunately it did not. Um, but I do have the Let the Good Times Roll uh, lotion coming so I'm excited to have that on top of this but I loved this in the shower and this is one I'm so excited to use and I'm so excited to use during the fall especially. So those are the four that I got I could not wait to get them, try them, share them with you, really give you my first impressions on these. I'm excited to continue using them and then give you my final thoughts and empties videos coming up. But there you have it, guys. Have you gotten any of these? Um, now, these were the four that I was the most excited about. I know that there are people that really love Guardians of the Forest. That's not my jam in terms of scent profile, but there are people that love it. And so there is that one. And then Skinny Dip, I cannot remember what that one smells like. So I did not get that one. But these four are the ones that I was so excited about and could not wait to use. And so I think Lush did a great job. And 
and I have said this for years, is that I do feel like Lush is a company that does listen to its customers. And I think this whole, by the name of it being the Lush X community, was uh, birthed by just the love that the customers have for these products. So I think they did a great, great job in choice with picking these and I'm so excited to see what else they have in the works, uh, working in the factory, working back in the lab and what they bring us because I absolutely just adore this company. So that's it guys. Let me know what you have gotten. Let me know what you've tried and let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.